What's up fam? Tonight we are going to be doing an epic review and trying El Pollo Loco's brand new overstuffed quesadillas. Yes. There are three of them, you guys. Jamil's just holding one. Mm -hmm. um, they look really good. There's a poblado one that Jamil's holding. Ooh. We have a beef overstuffed quesadilla as well and a chipotle chicken. Wow. Now. These things really are overstuffed, by the way, too. Before we say wow. Okay. And talk about how overstuffed they are. <laughs> we need to let the fam know how much that thing that you're holding in your hand costs. I got a feeling it's going to be another wow. <laughs> I know you didn't pay attention to the price. Do you have a guess? Because I feel like you have no idea. So no. even though I know you paid, but you never think, pay attention. So that's fine. After waiting huh? about 30 minutes, I was, I lost the, any, anyways, long story short. <laughs> Jamil was not paying attention to the price. How much yes. do you think that overstuffed quesadilla, the poblano, co uh, costs? Judging by California, this thing's probably, I might be over. Yeah. $9.50. You're, that's pretty close. I'm pretty close, huh? It's basically, it's $8.49. Oh, a dollar off. It's a lot. I, I think it's close. <laughs> okay. So. Point is, should this be $8.49? You tell me, fam. Look at that. I think that's, I don't think that's a terrible price. It's heavy. It the, is. The Chipotle chicken one's the same price, but the beef one is yes. nine dollars and forty nine cents. So what, what you guys nine fifty? Yeah. We'll see you guys. We'll see. These are expensive. Okay. You want to take the first bite? Yeah, you do. Because poblanos or peppers, I don't know. Okay. I don't know how hot it's gonna be. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I should have said what's in them. Not like mm. I know, but I was gonna look them up. Let me look them up. Poblano is mm -hmm. in this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A tortilla. Uh huh. Cheese. Uh huh. Shredded beef or shredded chicken. And that's it. Oh, now there's more. Actually, not oh. much more. Oh. Ready? So, chicken, like you said, there's mm -hmm. melted Monterey Jack cheese, mm. avocado, roasted poblano peppers, handmade guacamole, mm. and our signature creamy cilantro dressing. Okay. Okay. You gotta hand it over to you. Is it what hot? Mm -mm, not at all. Ooh, these, I mean, these are pretty like, uh, good. you know, mm -hmm. they're like big boy. Uh. They're really big. I do have to say, for the price, $8.49, you are getting, a, a, I would say, a full meal. I mean, this is oh. a lot. Oh. It's a lot of food. Mm. It's pretty good. They're not hot at all. Mm-mm. I like a poblano pepper. I think I've had them before. I like the flavor mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. Can they be hot though? If they leave they can be, in? yes. Okay, yeah. This I is thought they had it really, really hot before. Okay. Yeah. It's not that bad. I definitely think that I like it. Uh, the chicken tastes good in here. The guacamole is very good. Yes. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. the cheese really puts everything together. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it. It's hearty. Mm hmm. Mm. Filling. So this one's really just like mm -hmm. chicken forward. Oh, there's the inside, guys. And then roasted poblano pepper forward. Yeah. And, and a poblano pepper really doesn't taste bad. It's hard to describe the flavor, but it's sm yeah. it's kind of like really smoky kind of flavor. Yeah. It also has like a little like, um, best way I could describe it is kind of like a slimy mm. type of like okra type of, you know, maybe taste or texture, I should say. Ooh. But it's good. That's factoid. It's very good. Though. It is a little slimy, but not mm -hmm. in a bad way. Mm, not a bad way. Like yeah. okra, you know? Yeah. Unless you don't like okra, then it might be in a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I like the poblano one. I like it. Okay. All right, let's get the chipotle one. The chipotle Cause chicken. Because that beef one must must hit too, <laughs> since it's a dollar more. That's crazy. We are going to review them at the end for you on a one to 10. So okay. we'll let you know if they're worth it or not. Okay? Exactly. All right. Here you go. Now, obviously, um, oh. the thing is, this one is a little bit smaller, but it's still really heavy. It still definitely has a good size to it. Yes. Would you like me to take the bite first? Um, no, I'll take the bite first oh, if you want to okay. say what's in this one. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Thank you, baby. So this is the Chipotle Chicken Overstuffed Quesadilla. Okay. And it is our citrus marinated grilled chicken. Oh, sorry. There's grilled chicken, pretty much. Monterey Jack cheese. Sour cream. There's salsa in there, salsa ro roja, mm -hmm. and freshly prepared pico de gallo salsa. Mm. That sounds really good. Mm. That sounds like really good. Okay. What do you think? It's really good in flavor, but it's watery. 
mm. because of the salsa. Mm -hmm. But mm. that also might have been where you bit in. This side's not as watery. Oh, okay. That's the inside. Hope you guys can see that. Is that white stuff cheese or sour cream? Um, it's sour cream. Oh, okay. You know, I love a good sour cream. Mm. This one actually has a kick to it. That mm -hmm. salsa roja is a little hot. It is. Right? I definitely think that's more of like a medium. Mm -hmm. Heat a little more than mild for it's sure. It's medium, yeah. There's definitely a little little bit of a kick. For sure. Mm -hmm. You guys, we got creamy cilantro dressing. <laughs> one of the best things on the El Pollo Loco menu. <laughs> is it? Yes. I agree, actually. Yes. Okay, would you like to? No, I want you to go first with it. Okay, I'm going to dip the creamy cilantro dressing in there with this, and I'm going to tell you how much it hits. <laughs> Sounds like you already know that, huh? <laughs> you guys, this is, I love it too, but I think Kristen's like on a whole nother level. It's the best dressing that any fast food place has. Oh, Hands down, hold on. name it better dressing. I promise you there isn't. Dressing, not sauce, mm -hmm. dressing. Promise you this is it. Chick-fil-A's avocado so, um, oh. cilantro dressing. Damn. <laughs> yes, it's the avocado lime. Lime, avocado lime. You're right. That I think really it's a little good. better than this. This is great. Yeah. Damn. But I think that one might be a little better, right? You got me on that one. I did. This is number two. Yeah. Okay. This is. <laughs> yeah. Chick Fil A's avocado lime dressing is. Yeah. That's. Actually, I'm really impressed that you thought about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is number two. This is really good. So, mm -hmm. a little spice, like maybe yeah. a one to ten. It's like a four. Oh, wait one second. Yeah. That's the inside again, you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would even say. This might be like a, a, a five, I think. Oh, sorry. The fam's like, Jamil, get it to uh, her. I, I thought you were trying to put it away for some reason. No. You're trying to actually eat it. Yes. Hell good. I know. Mm. Um, I would even say it's a five. Like, it's definitely a mm. kick to it. It's not, it's not like easy. You know what I mean? For sure. That's mm. like a real, that's a that's some real heat right there. Spilt real spice, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's say a five out of 10 as far as spice goes. Mm-hmm. No, I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Thank you, though. I agree. It's like yeah. Four to five, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But very good flavor. Mm -hmm. Really smoky flavor with that chicken, the chipotle yeah, chicken. It is. Really good. I actually appreciate so far, even though we'll have the third one, mm -hmm. that it actually, they those two do taste very different. Yeah, they Sometimes do. Sometimes when you go to fast food places, they have multiple things, but they all kind of have the same, like, similar vibe or taste or something yeah, to especially it. Especially since it's the same meat. It's... Mm -hmm. it's both were chicken. Yeah. Wait, was that the one chicken or just poblano? Uh, chicken. It was poblano and chicken. It was it was grilled chicken in there. Exactly. So it was good. It's it was different. different. What's that? I told you. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's a four. Yeah. It's nothing. Well, it's a five. But it's good. It's it not, is. I'm not, I'm not spangry. Yeah, I feel you. Okay. Uh, last but not least. Yep. Okay. All right. You guys did a video before this. Yep. So I'm really full right now. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. We got one more yeah. overstuffed tortilla or quesadilla. <laughs> well, technically it is. <laughs> it is an overstuffed tortilla. Yeah, it is. That's true. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say what's in this one and you can go first on eating it. You sure? Yep. Okay. The shredded beef avocado overstuffed quesadilla. A slow cooked tender Ooh. shredded beef, melted Monterey Jack cheese, sliced avocado, freshly prepared avocado salsa, diced onion, and cilantro. Mm. All three of these are very different. Again, you guys, I didn't say this, but I believe these are seasonal. These are just a limited time, so mm -hmm. get them now if these sound good to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Based on Jamil's reaction, I don't. What say, though? No. Okay. I just want you to try it and tell me what you think. I know what you're going to think about it, though. Mm. Mm. Ooh. You like it? It's like a pot roast. It is like a pot roast. That's right? exactly right, yeah. Or a birria without the, mm -hmm. you know, that consomme stuff. Uh -huh. I would definitely say, um, I'm not a big, I'm not big on shredded beef. Mm -hmm. um, I do like, you know, beef and everything, but something about when it's shredded, I'm not a big fan of how it tastes. I don't know why. Like roast beef and things like, they always have like kind of the similar taste to me and it's not a, not my favorite. Mm -hmm. However, this is done really well. They put it a is. lot of good stuff in here mm -hmm. with the cheese, the avocado in there. And once again, it tastes different. I agree. It tastes different, you know? Yep. This one has 
to, is there a little kick in this one or is my mouth still burning from the Chipotle? I think it's burning from the other one. The other one, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I'll try it again. Yeah. Um, I agree. It's like pot roasty, birria kind of mm. like. Um, so I think the slow roast beef is a has a really good flavor to it. I love that they switched it up because obviously El Pollo Loco is known for their chicken, right? Mm -hmm. But here you have a really good tender piece of beef. Mm -hmm. I like that instead of putting guacamole, they just put the avocado in there. Yeah. I like switches that. it up than the other ones where they put the guacamole in. It's true. Um, it's very good. If you're a beef person, like you would, if you're a pot roast kind of person, yeah. you would really like this one. And, and yeah, definitely if you like shredded beef, definitely get this. Now, I know every place is going to be different, but they loaded this one with the beef. I mean, a lot of times you get things with beef, but then, or you get things with meat and they put all these other things in it and you just get like a little bit of meat, but they loaded this one. Yeah. So I like that. I like it. I feel like my dad would like this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you think so? Oh, yeah. He would love this for sure. I feel like sure. it screams his name. Do you mm -hmm. want to try it with the dressing? You know, I can't eat anymore. I'm so full, too. <laughs> I'm can't eat anymore, so stuffed. You mind uh, oh, putting yeah, that Yeah, no, I don't mind. Oh. Okay, guys. We're going to go ahead and rate this for you. Let you know what we think of it. Um, yeah. And before we recommend it or not recommend it. Exactly. Okay. But before we do. Yes. Well, actually, let's rate. Yeah. Well, let me ask you. Which one was your favorite? Let's wait first. Okay, let's wait first. <laughs> okay. Either way. Okay, let's do the beef since that's the most recent in my mind. Cool. I'm ready. Whenever you are. Do, do, okay, do. Ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. One, One two, two, three, six, six and, and a half. half. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Six and a half. Cool. It was good, but yeah. it's just not our vibe. Yeah. We didn't I say this, but we're really not pot roast. I didn't say we're not pot roast. You said you're not beef, like shredded beef. Yeah. Yeah. Ditto. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Like it if you good. liked it, you'll, if you like beef, shredded beef, you'll like it. Yeah. Right? I would never really get it again, mm -hmm. but I would maybe recommend it to people that Toast. do like shredded beef, you know, because that's really the only thing that took me out of it. Well, yeah. All right. Chipotle chicken. Chipotle chicken. That one is. Ooh, I'm ready for that one. I'm ready. Okay. Whenever you are. Are you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three, eight. eight. Mm -hmm. ah! Two for two. Huh? <laughs> two for two. Okay. Okay. Now the, so we've said an eight on the chipotle chicken. Uh -huh. Now the poblano. Poblano. Let's do it. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. One, we, two. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't think about it. Okay. okay I got it. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I'm ready. One, One two, two, three, three seven. seven and a half. Oh, uh, we were so close to getting a three for three. We were. Okay. I go with seven and a half. I think it was just slightly <laughs> under the chicken, but still very delicious. Yeah, I like the. I like. See, I like the heat. You know what I mean. Um, so for me, that plus with I don't know, just the salsa and stuff mm -hmm. like that, the flavor on that chipotle one that was very good. Yeah. So which which obviously the favorite was that one? Chipotle, chipotle chicken, chicken, slightly more than the poblano, but the poblano was very good. It was like a unique flavor. Mm -hmm. Chipotle chicken had like. A lot of complexity, a little heat, you know, a little whatever. But I also thought there was complexity in the poblano one, too. Yeah. Because you don't get that flavor too often. True that. Um, I also understand, although the beef isn't our jam, per mm -hmm. se, um, I see why they charge a little more for that. Because it's, the you know, it's, yeah. it's more loved. It's more tended to with I that slow so. roast beef situation. I think so. Which I appreciate. Plus, they probably have a lot of chicken around, you know, if that makes sense. Like, they have to do, like, special order for the beef because they're... They, mainly do chicken there right exactly i don't know i'm just thinking maybe it's more expensive because they have to order it special just for this one item. i think you're right I, it's probably what it is i think they normally don't have beef mm -hmm. there so you're yeah, yeah. correct i'm a genius yeah. so <laughs> do you recommend uh, the overstuffed quesadillas for the fam yeah okay so here's how i feel you know i'm going to use my analogy okay. if there's an el pollo loco <laughs> less than 10 miles 10 miles away don't go it would need to be less than five five <laughs> miles I'd say maybe, maybe get it. Yeah, maybe get it. No. Yeah, I would say get it. <laughs> Lunch break, if you have time, uh -huh. if it's like within two miles, that's not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it, but to an extent. Okay. To an extent, depending how far it is. Yes. How about you? Yes, I agree. Maybe don't drive more than seven minutes to get this. Yeah. yeah. That's from wherever you're starting to the actual restaurant. If yeah. it's more than seven minutes, I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Mm -hmm. But if it's close by, yes. Yeah. Also, I know it seems like it's hefty because it is $8.50 or $9.50. If you're in California. In California. <laughs> but I promise you, it's very filling. You're not going to yeah. need two. That's for sure. Of these. So I do think that's a positive. Yeah, it is. Um, it really so, is. yeah. Um, so, again, we recommend it, but don't yeah. go, like, out of your way. 
Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but that was fun to try. It was fun. It yeah. was really good. Yeah. We haven't been to El Pollo Loco in a long time. So that was good. Yeah, it was. So cool, guys. Okay, you guys. I love you so much. I'll see you guys for the next video. Yes. Mm -hmm. Peace. Ah, peace out, child. Oh, my God. Let us know if you've tried these before and what you think of them, by the way. I forgot to say oh, that. Oh, good point. Good okay. point. And let so us know which ones sound the best to you. <laughs> and then we just love you guys. We wanted to say I love you. We appreciate that. Okay. Peace out, child. Right. See you guys.